Hey, what's up everyone? John of the Geek here and today I'm going to be showing you Google Drive. Uh, so Google Docs has been replaced uh, by Google Drive now uh, because you can upload more than just documents, uh, spreadsheets and PowerPoint presentations. Uh, you can actually start uploading pictures, music, video files, PDFs, whatever um, onto this uh, drive. It's much like a drive but uh, it's not only stored on your local machine but it's also stored at Google in the cloud, right? And so the point of it is that if you have multiple computers, more than one computer, let's say at your house, at your office, and uh, on your laptop, you can access these files uh, because it's stored on the drive. It's not just stored at your one local computer. And uh, because they're all synced, they're all you know in one same spot, when you make an edit uh, one file, let's say at home on your computer, you can open up your computer the same folder uh, on your uh, desktop at work, right? And you can edit the same file without having to take the file with you on a thumb drive or anything like that. So that's just basically the whole cloud syncing um, idea uh, that was kind of made popular by Dropbox actually. So this is sort of the contender to the Dropbox if you ever, if you're familiar with that sort of thing. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fire up Google Drive here. Uh, you do have to have a Gmail account, and I'm already logged into my Gmail account. And uh, Google Drive gives you uh, five gigs of space for free, which is a lot compared to I think the two gigs that Dropbox gives you. Um, it's not really a whole lot if you're gonna throw your music and movies and video files and pictures like. A whole bunch of pictures all your pictures and stuff like that uh, five gigs may not be enough um, but they do offer more space that you could pay a monthly subscription to and I'll get to the pricing tiers of what and how much space you get later on but um, this is good if you just want to keep your documents uh, I know a lot of people who um, do graphic design so this is great for those graphic designers because you can store your Photoshop files, your Adobe Illustrator files, uh, project files, and maybe some like fonts and pictures. Uh, not nothing too crazy, not too much, but uh, five gigs should be more than enough, um, unless you're a huge avid, you know, graphic designer, Photoshop enthusiast, professional type person. Maybe you might need more space, but. 5 gigs should be more than enough for, for documents and, and whatnot, all right? So uh, I'm here on the web browser in my Google Drive, and this is how I can access it. Uh, but they do offer something here, a program, a small little program that you can download and install onto your desktop, uh, Mac or PC compatible, right? And this gives you access. It puts a folder onto your computer, and you can then uh, access your uh, files uh, locally on your desktop and I'll show you what that looks like so I'm just gonna go ahead and download uh, Google Drive for this computer and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and check the optional help make this product better they basically when your computer if it crashes with this uh, it'll send you know the reason why it crashed so that they can kind of make a better program. I, I like to opt into these things. I'm not too worried about security or whatever. I mean they have all my documents already anyways but I'm just gonna go ahead and accept and install and it's a very small program. It's light, it's easy, doesn't do a whole lot. It starts up with your computer. Uh, you can um, choose what folders uh, you want to sync. Maybe in your Google Drive you have a lot of files and folders and you don't need to sync everything maybe on your laptop you just want to sync your work related uh, files or folders you can certainly do that and I'll show you what that looks like once this program starts up here and it's gonna automatically start up for me and give me the options a window is gonna pop up and you can go ahead and log in right and uh, I like to check the stay sign in so go ahead and check that. All right, so now we're going through this little setup wizard here, and uh, click on next. And uh, you can click on advanced setup if you'd like, and we're just going to check that out, see what that's like. So here is uh, where you can specify the folder location. Right now, it wants to go onto the user folder and a folder called AMD. Basically, that's this folder here, right? It wants to put my 
Google Drive folder here, and that's where all my files will be stored locally. But uh, you can change that for whatever, whatever reason if you wanted, I don't know, on your desktop, right? And just call it, you know, stuff. For the purpose of demonstration, I'll do this. I usually like to just keep it in my, in my user folder here. But I'll just change it just for the heck of it. All right, so let's say I only want to do some folders, not every folder, right? Or let's say I just want to do folders, but every loose file that's not in a folder, uh, don't sync it, right? You can you can choose that if you want. Um, I only have one folder here. It's called old because uh, I don't really use this account anymore. This is a kind of a fake account. So just for the purpose of this demonstration, um, I'm just going to go ahead and let it sync everything, but you get what I'm saying. All right, so the sync Google Doc files um, and enable offline viewing. Basically, all the files that you create in uh, uh, Google Docs, right? They're not Word files; they're GDoc files, and I'll show what that means later. Um, but you you can enable this, and what it'll do is that you'll be able to see the GDocs file uh, that you create in Google Docs in the web on the cloud in Google Docs, the web application. You'll be able to see them. You'll be able to look at them, uh, but you won't be able to edit them right uh, because it just requires a whole lot uh, this is just if you don't if you're on your laptop and you don't have internet connection and you just want to see a file uh, you want to be able to see it um, this is what uh, this is the option that they have here right All right so if you want to enable offline access you have to be in your Google Drive you have to hit this uh, gear button here and then you have to set up docs offline and then you'll click on allow offline docs and then you have to install uh, the Docs Chrome web app. So I'm using Google Chrome. And I'm just going to go ahead and add to Chrome here, Google Docs. This allows the offline uh, files that you can access. So that's offline, and it's going to take a little while for it to happen, so let that happen, right? We'll get to more of that some other time about the whole offline deal and hopefully I could show you what uh, that looks like All right so back to the application right um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit click on start sync and I'm gonna check uh, start Google Drive automatically when I start my computer right so on the bottom right here the screen will kind of flicker don't worry don't freak out All right, so pops open my folder here, my Google Drive folder, and uh, in my taskbar here, you can open this up, and uh, there's a whole bunch of settings that you could do. Uh, basically, what it's doing right now is it's downloading everything that's in my Google Drive on on the cloud and downloading it onto my computer. Right, so it's going to take some time. If you have a lot of files, it's going to take a little while uh, for it to all download. Um, so here you can choose you can tell you know to open up the folder I already have it open here as you can see um, you can go into preferences this is the uh, the spot that we were just at as you can see I'm using zero gigs of my five gig space but if I need more I can buy more and uh, if I click on that it'll take me to the pricing tiers that they have here it used to be different it just changed to this um, but uh, here's what the free account is. Here's what 25 costs uh, in U.S. dollars and 100 gig cost in um, U.S. dollars here, right? Um, and then they have even way bigger accounts, uh, much more storage. Okay, so let's get into let's look at what it is that we can and cannot do with this. Uh, let's say, for example, all of these files that I have. Uh, seem to be Google Docs and when you double click on a file it opens it up in my uh, Google uh, Docs web browser but let's say let me unplug let me disconnect from the internet All right, so let's say, for example, I'm disconnected from the internet and don't have any connection anymore. So let's open up that file again, and hopefully we'll be able to see it 
So this is offline mode, view only. I can't edit this, right? I can only view it, uh, which is cool. You know, if I just want to look at something, that's all right. There's some limitations right now. Hopefully in the future, of course, it's going to get better. All right, so, uh, and that's pretty much it for this. You can organize these folders. Uh, you can create a new folder here, right? New folder, you can start putting uh, documents inside of that new folder, right? If you wanted to, and in your Google Drive uh, online, you'll be able to see that, oh, there's a new folder and you move things around. And, and when you go onto another computer, it creates a new folder for you, puts a new folder, then puts the files in that folder, just how you did, how you're telling it to do. So uh, this is great. Uh, for those of you who want to, uh, who already have a lot of uh, documents on Google already, been using Google Docs, uh, um, and uh, want to continue using it. Um, my next video, I'm going to be showing another program called InSync, not the boy band, but a program that kind of gets around this whole uh, offline access type deal. Uh, but uses your Google storage, right? For those of you who are interested in watching that video, please check that out coming soon. Subscribe, uh, rate, thumbs up or thumbs down, whatever. Comment. Um, thanks for watching and I will catch you later.